Have you ever imagined turning the key into the door of the home that's yours? Where every step towards this dream can start with a simple achievable action? Hi there, if you've been thinking that home ownership is out of reach, stick around. Because today we're breaking down exactly how you can start with what you can afford, build equity step by step, trade it up to your dream home. We'll also dive into the surprising benefits of owning a home that go beyond just financial gains, like educational advantages for your kids and a greater sense of personal happiness. So okay, are you ready to start your journey to home ownership? and see how you can transform your life? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more insightful content on making your housing dreams a reality. Let's explore how you can build a brighter future starting today. So let's dive right into what you came here for. Imagine that you find a lovely house priced at 400,000. You only need to put down 5%, which is 20,000. Pretty manageable, right? Now. You can secure your mortgage for the remaining $330,000. Now, fast forward five years, real estate tends to appreciate, so your home now might be worth $500,000. Great news, right? Well, you decided to sell it. After covering your remaining mortgage and the settling costs, you can end up with about $115,000 in your pocket. With this $115,000, you are in a fantastic position to tap to a bigger leap. Now, let's say you've saved some more over these five years to add to your profit, and now you can afford a $100,000 down payment on a new house worth $600,000. By this math, your new mortgage would now be $500,000. What you're seeing here is a beautiful ladder of progression. You started with a 20,000 investment, grew that into 100,000 down payment, and upgraded to a more valuable home. It's like leveling up your game because each move builds your worth and gets you closer to your dream home. Initial purchase, home price, 400,000. Down payment, 5%, that's come to 20,000. Mortgage amount will come to 380,000. Next is value appreciation and sale. Well, home value after five years, 500,000. Sales price, 500,000. Remaining mortgage, approximately 360,000. Assuming some amount paid down over five years, now equity gain will be 500,000 minus 360,000 equal 140,000. Now you have to subtract closing costs, which is approximately 5% overall, which brings me to 25,000. Your net profit from sale will be 140,000 minus 25,000. It's equal to 115,000. Now, second home purchase, new home price, 600,000. The down payment from the profit plus saving will be 100,000, while your new mortgage amount will be 600,000 minus 100,000 equals a mortgage of 500,000. Now, in this example, the homeowner starts with a $20,000 investment and ends up owning a, a more valuable property by strategically using the profit gain from the appreciation of the first home. And in five to 10 years, you can repeat this process to upgrade even further. This showcases how start small and leveraging real estate growth can substantially increase your home value and investment over time. But the benefits of owning your own home go far beyond just the financial aspect of it all. Well, homeowners often have a higher net worth than renters because of the equity that they build in their homes. In fact, the median net worth of homeowners is about 40 times greater than that one of the renters, according to DoorLoop. For more details on homeownership benefits, you can check the full statistic on DoorLoop's blog in the description below. There's also educational advantages. Research consistently shows that children of homeowners tend to perform better in school with lower dropout rates and higher test scores. A detailed study has found that the children living in owned homes drop rates are one to 3% lower than those in rented homes. This stability often contributes to a better learning environment, which can significantly impact educational outcomes in your children. For example, in-depth statistics and findings, you can check the full study in the description below. 
emotional satisfaction and stability. Homeownership is strongly linked to a higher sense of personal well-being and stability because owning a home can provide a permanent base for families fostering a sense of community and belonging that contributes significantly to the overall happiness. The security of owning a home can also reduce stress and promotes mental health by providing a stable environment for both adults and children. But before you jump into action, it is crucial to ensure that you are ready to upgrade. This means having enough equity, getting pre-approved for a mortgage, and being prepared for a competitive market. Real estate isn't just about having a place to live, it's about making a strategic decision that can lead to financial freedom and a dream lifestyle. Stop with what you can afford now, build equity and trade up strategically. So Betty, when is the best time to buy a house? I'm glad you asked. The best time to start climbing that property ladder is now. Thank you for watching, I'm Betty Gonzalez, proudly serving the military community of South Florida from serving our country to serving you. I love where I live and I want you to love where you live too. So if you want to help in navigate the real estate journey with ease and confidence, for more information and to get in touch, check out all of my contact in details. It's in the description below. See you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you found it helpful. Thank you. Bye.